It is an ownership anointing in our church, but Deacon Arnold, I had him running all over uh, the internet and all over the city looking at vans, looking at vehicles. And uh, what blessed me is that I want you all to see and I want you all to hear me say publicly that faithfulness never goes unrewarded. Do you hear me? Faithfulness never goes under what I was I was here and I was I was wondering I didn't know he was here one day because I looked outside I didn't see no car I saw a U-Haul I saw a U-Haul out there and um, I said who, 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 how you get here what's going on he said pastor I'm driving to U. I said are y'all moving he said no we're not moving um, but I rented a U-Haul because right now remember we prayed for Deacon Aaron a couple weeks ago a couple months ago now uh, he had a little sick spell the Lord has raised him up uh, he was in the hospital but because of that six spell his job just shifted his position he used to do a lot of on the road work driving uh, across installing technology and whatnot and so they shifted him to more of a work from home model and so the company car that they were using uh, the company took it back he ain't doing nothing wrong. They just shifted his position. And so he said, I've been, I've been doing a U-Haul because it's cheaper than Ubering. I said, you, been, you mean you've been renting a U-Haul truck just to come help your church out? He said, yeah, we, we, don't, we don't have a vehicle right now. I said, y'all got six children and don't have no vehicle? I started thinking, I said, man, you, you come to every service. You at every campus, you set up on Saturdays, you break down. And you ain't got no vehicle. And so, hold on, hold on, I'm just talking. He was here. The other night, you remember we were sitting over there? You remember it was on live? And uh, we were testifying, you know, what, what, what are you believing God for? I'm just asking, Minister Antoine, you've been sowing. This is really, you've been sowing. Y'all seen it. Now, Sister Rhonda, you knew, and you've been sowing it. We got Deacon Aaron with six children and no vehicle. Uh, they still sold, not just made their pledge, they paid their pledge. Then I think they went a little bit over with their pledge. And I said, what do you believe in God for? He said, Pastor, we really need a vehicle. Because you know, they got six children and don't have a vehicle and they're faithful, always here. And, and I said on the live, I said, well, you know, Deacon, I just feel like you know, God, God got time to still do it this year. Tell your neighbor God never misses a deadline. Tell her. Wife at home watching the children and, uh, you know, can't go around like they want to go around. And I just felt like, you know, since our church walks in such stewardship, we've been saying that if God does it for our house, he'll do it for your house. And I think we might as well show it. So you know what we did? Brother Christian Robinson is here uh, working somewhere. We had him detail the church van yesterday and get it nice and clean. But I said, hey, Brother Christian, when you're done, I want you to detail the Arnold's new van too. Because we bought y'all the minivan. It's outside. Paid for it. I'm going to give you the keys, D. The van's outside. Faithfulness never goes on the Lord. If you put your time in, y'all think I'm playing. Come on, D. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll take two minutes for this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want them at home. Y'all pull up the Facebook page if you want to see it. Pull it up. That's your van right there, D. That's your van. That's your van. That's your van. That's your van right there. That's your van. That's your van. It's paid for. It's full of gas. It's yours. There's no no. It's yours. It's got leather seats. It's got three rows. It's got digital system. It's got a DVD player in the back for all of your kids. It's all yours. I need somebody to help me give God praise. I said I need somebody to give God praise. All right. Y'all don't have no place on this road. I just want y'all to see it. Y'all been driving home today, so we got the title in the car. The tags are on the back. It's yours. 
already, I joined the thing. I joined this church. I joined. I joined. Hey, what happens in his house, you can claim it for yours. Um, if you believe it, come on, don't play. Just tell you what's say, debt free, debt free, debt free, debt free. If it's happening at his house, it can happen at my house. Oh, that's one of our members from Arkansas that came in town. We got room for us? I didn't even know. All right. Woo! All right. Must be God. Must be God. Gotta move. Without the music, open your mouth and give God glory. Without the music. If it's real, you don't need them right here. Come on. Come on, cut that out. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Faithful, don't, come on, Sister Candace. You're supposed to be ushering, not shouting. Come, oh. You're supposed to be up. Don't more seconds. I gotta go. One, two, one, two, three, go. You have that. I'm gonna let you have that. I'm gonna let you have that. Folks that started sowing into the enough. Oh God. 
He was outside looking at his gun. Can we give him 40? I'm sorry, I know I told you to stop. Let's help him one time. Sister Arnold, oh, you better praise him back there. I need two sisters to shout for her. God's not just going in front of the vehicle, he's going in front of the family. He's restoring, he's healing, he's... Elijah tells the story 